Let's see the key components of a PLC. The first component is the CPU or Central Processing Unit. CPU is the brain of the PLC where all the processing is done. CPU runs the user written program or logic. This program is stored in CPU memory and can be modified according to the process requirements. CPU also performs the necessary diagnostics and manages communication with other devices. I.O. Module I.O. Module or Input-Output Module are essential components of a PLC system. They provide the interface between the PLC CPU and the field devices. Types of I.O. Module There are two types of I.O. Modules. Digital I.O. Module and Analog I.O. Module. Digital I.O. send or receive on-off or true-false signals, such as a switch being open or closed. While analog I.O. send or receive continuous signals that vary within a range, such as temperature or pressure readings. Power, power supply. The power supply in a PLC system plays a critical role in ensuring the reliable operation of the entire system. Power supply provides the necessary electrical energy to the PLC CPU, I.O. modules, communication modules and other connected peripherals. Most of the PLCs operate on 24 volts DC. The power supply unit converts AC power to the required level of DC power. If you like this video, please like and subscribe the channel for more updates. Next component of a PLC system is communication ports. Communication ports are hardware interfaces that allow the PLC to connect and exchange data with other devices or networks, such as HMIs, SCADA systems, or other PLCs. Some common communication ports are RS-232 serial port, RS-485 serial port, Ethernet port, CAN bus, and field bus ports. Programming device the programming device is essential for configuring and maintaining PLC systems, enabling operators and engineers to design automation programs. A computer or terminal can be used as PLC programming device. If you like this video, please like and subscribe the channel for more updates.